guess we're just gonna start here. Uh, how's everything going? What up, Matt Gow? How you doing? What up, Rave Rev Rev Love Blink Anthony? I think I got that right. Uh, so there's going to be a little bit of a humming noise in the background. It has to do with the way the chat link cable and the Elgato uh, work at the same time. I don't know what that music was. For some reason, my um, starting soon screen was not working correctly. Hang on. I just I got to share this out to all the places and the things. And I'm uh, sorry. I was paused on a Philip DeFranco video. What up, Gunner Hunter? Um, I'm uh, doing pretty good. I hope you're doing well as well. Just say Anthony. I will. I'm pretty sure you've said that before. Uh, should be an easy name to remember, seeing as my son's name is Anthony as well. So uh, I've been playing Animal Crossing New Horizons pretty much nonstop since the game came out. However, however, um, does everything look good? I mean, I know there's a little bit of a knocking noise sounds kind of like a lawnmower in the background um but aside from that everything sound good streaming would have been so much easier if my starting soon screen would have worked but we're gonna go through essentially what my daily routines are in this and unfortunately i've already done them for the day so we actually have to time travel a little bit I don't usually condone or like doing time traveling in an Animal Crossing game, but we're going to do it for the sake of the stream. And for you guys being able to see anything of interest rather than me just grinding out fishing like I usually do. Uh, share to my Facebook. I swear to God, I really wish there was just like an auto way. For it to do all of this. You know how nice that would be? I could probably use IFTT to do it. Uh, but it would be a royal pain in the butt to set up. So jealous you have apples in your town. Uh, I have apples, peaches, uh, lots of things. Um, so <laughs> we'll go through all that. I'm going to explain to you all what I do, how I do it, why I do it, everything. Um, at least to a somewhat brief extent i guess would be the best way of saying that and last place to share the discord and bingo bango who wants a bongo do you have pears I do not have pears yet, Anthony. Really? There's no game audio at all? There, there's a little bit of game audio. I don't want you guys to have a lot of it, because there's like this weird reverberating noise that's like coming off of it. I just want you guys to have like a snippet of it. There really isn't any news to speak of today. Thank you, Isabel. Say... Did anyone else catch that concert on TV yesterday? My favorite band was one of the featured acts and their music still stuck in my head. What up, Jilly D? What up, Varton, by the way? Dylan? Both Dylans. I got Voltage Dylan and Dylan V. And Hellraiser? How we all, how we all doing, guys? Oh dear, there I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Um, and for those of you who don't understand what I mean when I say I had to time travel for you guys to see this, I had to change the date and time. Just make it quieter. It was better. How's that? Alright. So, uh, this is my house. Where you go, my house. Uh, for those of you who have never played an Animal Crossing game, it is very much so a game about routines and habits. Uh, it is very calming for someone with a lot of anxiety. Uh, so I've, I've started on doing all the upgrades to the house. I've fully upgraded the main room. I've got a second room, which is like my Fifty Shades of Grey bedroom here. I know, it looks all kinds of swanky. Uh, you know, Anthony, I would agree with you, but 
if I wouldn't have time traveled and I would have streamed where I'm at currently, this would have been the most boring stream on the face of the planet. Because it would have just been me literally fishing the whole time. Hi, Jerica. Hi, John Well Beloved. Hi, Tech is Amazing. Mr. Pete. Oh my, there's a lot of you. Okay, so I got cherries here. Uh, so I don't really shake and sell my fruit. That's one thing I think that's kind of a mistake. I will sell my fruit if I go visit someone else's island because if they don't have those same fruits, I will get a lot of money off of those fruits. So uh, save them. And you can also use them if you level up your... So if you take a whole bunch of fruits and you go up to like a rock or something, you can literally pull a tree right out of the ground and replant it somewhere else rather than just chopping it down. All right. So I had a bunch of little critters on the island, but uh, you want to talk to your... Oh, tech is amazing. Thank you. Congrats on the new job. Did you come over to Big Blue? I am not going over to Big Blue, unfortunately. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to say hello. It's just I've been busy falling in love with Albion. By the way, Albion is the name of my island. Uh, for those of you not familiar, it is where you live in the Fable universe. I'm so glad you decided to chat with me on that island. I can't wait to see you around, neighbor. Me either. Uh, I think I'm in... John Mobile, I think I'm in the high hundreds on Pokemon. Uh, so one of the first things you kind of want to do is you're just going to pick up and farm your resources. Uh, I'm good on wood. I don't really chop my trees very often because I kind of notoriously forget which trees I've already hit or how many times I have hit them. Um, talking to your people here on your island, though, uh, usually will help get you nook miles. It'll keep you up to date, keep them friendly with you, keep them from wanting to move off of the island. Yes, your friends can move off of the island. It's very sad, actually. You're pretty cute. Thanks, honey. I imagine that's why I have a wedding ring on my finger from you. Oh, see? We got some Nook Miles just for doing that. Uh, so this is Nook Miles Plus. You get this after you complete a little bit of stuff here in the game. Uh, but the basic Nook Miles are just ways you earn extra points to do other things. Uh, you literally just earn these for doing your basic daily tasks, like fishing, uh, picking up, and selling seashells. Uh, currently, the first thing I always do is look for the stuff I need to dig up. So, like, my fossils or any of this uh, lucky loot that is buried here. Always make sure to, once you unlock the slingshot, to carry the slingshot along with you. Miss that rock by a mile. Um, the slingshot's very helpful because if a package were to go flying by, like one of the surprise ones, it's, it's a present package literally being carried by a balloon. Uh, you can get a present. It usually has like a DIY recipe or a piece of furniture you probably already don't have. Uh, you know, Tom Nook really isn't bad in this one. Like, he's pretty friendly for the most part now. Let's see. I've got a lot of DIY recipes. Uh, by the way, that shop I'm right next to right now, that's the Able Sisters shop. Um, they sell clothing. I usually go in and check their stuff daily. Uh, you earn Nook Miles just for buying stuff as well. The Able Sisters were also a new leaf. A rock in your pocket or, oh god, that joke again? Really? Yeah, my wife really wants it. Uh, I actually offered to buy her a Switch. <laughs> just because she could literally play Fortnite. Like, she was like, oh, I can't play my games tonight. Literally, if she would have had a Switch... Uh, she could have just been upstairs, because then I wouldn't have to move my dock all the way down here. She could have just docked her Switch upstairs and been playing Fortnite right now. What up, Hatch? How you doing? Uh, yeah, I have the coronavirus mask on, in case you didn't notice. We practice social distancing here, except for uh, Mabel over here. She's, like, right up my ass. If you're close enough to smell my fart, we are not far enough apart the social distancing rule there kids 
it's a switch in his pocket. You know, I, I, depending on which pair of pants I'm wearing that day, I could probably put a switch in my pocket. You can play it in short bursts, but I've literally just been binging it, uh, which is kind of the problem I had with new, uh, new Leaf as well. I get very addicted to the Switch games. Well, not the Switch games, the Animal Crossing games. They're just very low stress. Like, this is literally just, like, doing your basic daily stuff. So that's a fossil. I've already got four of them in my pocket from earlier today. I just didn't turn them into blathers yet. Um, for me in the game, the uh, CJ was there. He buys the fish at a markup. So I was doing the Nook Miles vacation packages or the Nook Miles tickets and going off to a different island. Um, which I will then just riddle for its resources. And uh, there's a lot of good fish on those that sell for a very high price. Word is you've been trying to get KK to stop by this place on his latest concert tour. Me yowza. Dunno if you know this, but I'm a great big KK fan myself. If you actually manage to get KK... To do a show here on our island, I'll be one happy cat. To show, I mean business, take this. What is it? Your idea is to boost this place so it'll get noticed by KK, right? I wonder if something like my hand cart here might help. What? Did you really just give me a hand cart thinking that's going to help boost the town? What's your hand cart even... <laughs> Oh, damn, tech is amazing. How does New Hampshire compare, or New Horizon compare to New Leaf or Wild, Wild World? Uh, so I didn't like, I didn't actually get into Animal Crossing until New Leaf. Um, Wild World and those, uh, this is so hard to explain. I was in like my early teens when the GameCube one originally came out. Uh, so I was kind of at that, I think I'm too cool for this shit. We've all been there, right? I even stopped playing Pokemon at that time in my life because I thought I was too cool for Pokemon. And here I am as a almost 33-year-old adult playing them all now and loving them. Um, one of the fun parts with this is the way that you can have someone over onto your island and how smoothly that all works. Uh, so, and I mean, you're literally... My, my daily routine here is I'd literally farm resources first thing when I get on. So we're going to look for fossils, broken sticks, hit any rocks that we see laying around. Uh, that's really going to be like the first priority. A, because if I need to craft stuff, I've got the stuff to craft stuff. Uh, if I think there's a koi up here. We might try for the koi. Yeah, there might be a koi. Oh, you son of a... <sighs> yeah, just make your next turn first. We'll go from there. Just figure out your life here, fish. Oh, okay, we're going forward more? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this fish is going to agitate me. There we go. There's a very distinct noise. You have a very short window to actually start getting a, f a carp, really. So, koi's are pretty valuable. Um, they sell at a very high price. That's kind of why when I saw that shadow there, um, different fish sizes indicate what so the shadows can be different sizes depending on what fish is uh right there uh it looks like an open worldish farmville uh animal crossing predates farmville oh we can hit that rock let me pick up the other rocks though first uh this game is a lot better jilly it's very calming and <laughs> relaxing and i've got a lot of stress in my life right now so, really, this game couldn't have come out at, like, a better time. Oh, son of a... I swear to God.
I always get carp and bass, and it gets annoying. Uh, so I'll, I'll take you all to my museum. I've gotten so much stuff out of my museum, it's ridiculous. Which, we'll go there once I go to turn in all these fossils. Ooh, a gold. Those gold nuggets there, they sell for a really high price as well. Which is nice, because I got a, got a home loan, I got to pay off. It's like real life, but not as stressful, because I don't have to pay it every day. So if, like, I just don't do anything for a day. Back pocket game reviews. Now we have to deal with Nancy Pigleski to ruin everything. Uh, you know, to be fair, I'm pretty sure they worked out the deal on the stimulus. Granted, $6 trillion is, like, an insane amount of money. Like, when you say it out loud, it just even becomes even more traumatic. Like, $6 trillion. Dollars. Two trillion of that is going to the American people. Hey, as long as they worked out a deal, it is what it is. I'm so happy to see the adults that are in charge of our country were able to negotiate like adults. Woo. See, in the old games, if you would have ran over one of those star pieces there, you would have fallen in and lost it. Lots invested into NL, New Leaf, and is New Horizon worth the upgrade? God, yes. Uh, tech is amazing, 100%. Uh, granted, I also don't have a 2DS anymore. I actually, or 3DS, I sold mine right around when the Switch came out. Um... No regrets, either. So, I mean, I absolutely love it. I Only games that I would say I truly, like, miss from the handheld were being able to have some of the N64 games backwards compatible. Like, oh, that's just Paper Kite Butterfly. Um, you also kind of want to always be on the lookout for... Sometimes you'll find mantises over here in the flowers. So you don't want to really, like, go sprinting through here. Like, right there, there's a... Uh, Orchid Mantis. That was just a stink bug, so I didn't really care about him. We're gonna sneak up all nice and slow here. Yeah. Those sell for a pretty penny, too. I think I got four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That should be it. Some days you'll have more than four fossils. Um, it's usually after a day it rains. So the next day after a rainfall in the game, that's usually when you'll start to see um, like six fossils in your day. Which I've had way too many times, unfortunately. For some reason my game thinks it's raining constantly. Come down over here by my campsite. Um, but you kind of have to set everything up. Like, all these flowers were pretty much planted by me. Um, eventually I'll have... Oh, there's a mantis right there. Son of a... Mm. Uh, all this stuff you have to craft, so you have to find all of the resources to do it. Um, I've got a town works over here going on to build some wooden log steps going up to get to the top. Uh, the bridges were town works projects. The bamboo, I... Stole from another island. We will go to another island. I'm going to show you all the Nook Miles ticket. Oh, see? Look, we found another right there. New Horizons is definitely worth the upgrade. I would agree with Lindsay Reynolds. Very much so. Um, there's just... There's a lot of new things, but a lot of familiar things. Like, New Leaf definitely um, laid a lot of the groundwork for what this one became... Um, but there's a lot of new things to keep it very interesting and fresh, like the Terra morphing, um, which I haven't unlocked yet. I do not have access to that yet. Um, obviously Blathers is one of my favorite characters 
for some odd reason. So we're going to have him assess all of these fossils. Uh, you can only give them fossils they don't already have. Same with bugs and fish. You can only turn in ones that they don't already have. So if he already has one, he will refuse to take it as a donation. So he found something that's not yet a part of their esteemed collection. Um, the ones that you have that he won't take, you can either put on display inside of your um, house or you can sell them at the shop. They do sell for a very high price. In the meantime, I shall return these to you, but think on what I've said. The museum awaits. Blathers is dedicated. Yeah, yeah, he is. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Oh, that's it? Out of all I got in here? We about to be rich, kids. I'm about to pay off my home loan. Woohoo! Several things! Let's see. Let's take a look. It's in a book on reading Rainbow. Splendid. We gladly take. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, uh, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. We're good. I'm fine. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Uh, so we're going to go down to the fossil room. Um, open your gates for Anthony. I will after I'm done with my explanation stuff. Because I can't do everything I want to do while he's in here. Uh, so these are this is like the entryway. Those are just like one-off fossil pieces that you find. Um, so they're not like pieces to a bigger fossil puzzle. Uh, like down here so as you can see i'm missing the tail end of this guy uh, and you can go up to the little signs they'll actually give you some information about what the animal is and then you got this hippie ux who's just hanging out down here so this is a what quetza quetzal it's my pal q right uh, the museum got a huge upgrade in this one. Like, we're talking like a huge upgrade. And honestly, just where the fossils are isn't really going to do it justice to you. I, I get he's supposed to be in bed soon. I'll open him up here in a minute. Uh, so this is just a little fossil area. This is it. That's, that's literally all it is for the fossils. Um, the fish, the aquarium, and the bug room. I don't really know what you'd call a bug room. I'm sure there's like an ex insect observatory or some shit. Give him some bugs. I don't have any bugs to give him right now, Mr. Pete. Everything uh, bug and fish wise, I pretty much have already given him. I have nothing new on me. Yes, I have the mask on. As I said, we're practicing social distancing on my island. But this is the aquarium portion of the museum. I'm assuming a shark is going to go in there, but I've yet to find any sharks. Uh, from what I hear, they're kind of hard to track down. What are your thoughts, Nick? Oh, 100%, dude. You should Tech is amazing. You should pick this up. 110%. I mean, just look at all of the effort they put into the aquarium here. Like, just the aquarium alone, you can tell they were able to do so much more from what they were able to do on, um, on New Leaf. Look, you'll even see my head pass behind here. And we can even make, like... Just looking at the giant school of fish... I just think the little touches they put on this versus New Leaf are just so absolutely astonishing. Don't know what's going to go in here. And we got all these guys just swimming around over here. So, I mean, if you did play New Leaf... If it felt half-baked since no holidays and other things. Um, 
from what I hear, they're still going to be doing holidays. Like, I hear Bunny Day is going to be a thing. Um, so you are going to get a lot of that stuff in this. Um, and so that's the thing, though, too, with you saying that they're not in there yet. Um, with the 3DS, you couldn't really push an update. With the Switch, you can push an update like you would on a normal console. Um, this is the insect area. But, I mean, they're all just way more detailed and in-depth than what they were in the previous games. Uh, and it's just, it's really cool. Like, I, I think the museum is one of the coolest features about this game. So you can see everything you've collected um, just roaming around the world. They were adding holidays as time goes by. Yeah, so like literally it'll probably be like a day or two before the holiday or the day of when you turn on your Switch. You'll receive the holiday as like a system update that day. Which is, I mean, that's that's just not a feature that they had available to them at the time of the 3DS. At least not easily. I'm gonna download it now. Dude, I had this preloaded. I like don't usually digitally buy uh games on my switch there's been two games to where i was just like i'm gonna i'm just gonna digitally buy it uh and it was this and um hey you pikachu so or not hey you pikachu it was uh let's go pikachu here i'm gonna open my gates so my son can join in if any of you guys do have it, you're welcome to just join my world if you already have me added and everything. I've had some of you guys just pop in before, so. Yep, this has the amiibo piece of it, but... So, like, with... With the 3DS, updates were fewer and further between. They couldn't, like, just push an update regularly over to the game. Um, it was a lot more difficult there, whereas on currently, it's a lot easier. Uh, this is Dodo Airlines. I'm actually wearing one of their shirts. Oh, God, yes. Give me some pairs. Via online. My game crashed earlier today when I opened my gates for my son. He just screamed yes. That's how excited he is that I'm opening my gates. Nick, I love my Switch. Dude, Varton, I'm telling you, like, this, so this is the craziest thing. And this is the thing that you all should try to wrap your mind around. And I know I, I probably said this in a video before. Uh, I think I mentioned it when I was talking about the PS5. Did I ever actually upload that video? I know I recorded a video talking about the PS5 and the Xbox One and the difference in specs and... Specs are just specs that are on paper. So when you talk about the PlayStation 5 is going to have uh, 11 teraflops and Xbox is like, yeah, we'll be able to push 14 or whatever the hell number they pulled out of their backsides. Uh, I want you to keep in mind, this game looks good. If you've seen Breath of the Wild, it looks fantastic. If you've seen uh, Mario Odyssey, it's gorgeous. These games are actual, a absolutely beautiful breathtaking games and the switch it has one teraflop you got one teraflop coming out of this thing what's your friend code jesus christ jr you would have had to have already added me before this uh because it's gonna get sketchy if i go over to my main menu i think i have it posted on my community page pretty sure it's on my community page I know it's on my Twitter. Posted it on Twitter before. So this is what it does when someone's joining up. It takes a hot second. Uh, you can have up to eight people on your island at once. Certain things are not available to you when people are here. Like I cannot talk to Tom Nook about house upgrades. I cannot start a public works project. Um, so certain things are just not available to you. 
Barton, I'm also trying to convince my wife to let me buy her a Switch. Plus, I can reskin it and make it a pretty color. They've got mint green ones of these skins that I have on mine. I shouldn't call it a skin. It's literally an entire replasticking of the body. It's a shell. So do I. But Nintendo has never been, like, the most tech-savvy company. Like, they're very good at making their hardware. When it comes to using the internet, where the hell is my son at? Huh. Um, another thing I'm going to do is check the daily board over here. Val, let him buy you a Switch. You don't have to get clear. They have grippy ones that are like your mint color you like. Like, it doesn't have to be transparent. I just wanted the transparent, because, like, nothing screams 90s video game console like transparent colors. Like, my transparent purple Switch and my transparent green controller. I got a purple one over here somewhere, too. Succulent plant. Uh, so, the hot item are items you can craft that, for the day, are selling at an immensely marked up price. She's not really like a huge pink fan. Like pink is not her thing. Um, I'd get the full switch. I prefer the pro controller. Right, I'm saying that we'd get you a full switch, and then we could literally recase yours in a mint green. Uh, you can even get a mint green for your pro controller. Uh, but the hot item you can sell for like double or triple the price. Uh, she would probably play hers docked most of the time. She doesn't really like it that much in handheld mode. Uh, she tried it with the uh, Satisfy Gaming Grip. Maybe when we hit the lottery. You mean maybe when we get our stimulus package? PS Full is useful? Oh, yeah. I mean, I would never, I would never get the Switch Lite. No offense. Like... It definitely has its market, but for me, I still prefer playing on the big TV. Alright, that's everything I'm selling right now. Look at the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done, I can buy these from you for a total of 30,950 bells. Sound good? Um, for the most part, money is very easy to earn in this comparatively to. Like, I don't find it as hard to grind out money in this. It's like someone is on their way here. Is it Anthony again? I assume he had an issue. Maybe it's that I time traveled. I actually had a purple transparent N64, but it broke. Uh, it's Trent is joining me. I have, say, I have the transparent purple on my other pro controller. Uh, and then the purple's on my actual Switch, so like the Joy-Cons. If you haven't seen I did a video talking about it. Uh, my wife had to actually do the Joy-Cons for me. I watched Jerry Rig Everything do it, and I was doing the Joy-Cons, just following along with him. And he just grabs the cable, and he goes, just snugly pull it out. And keep in mind, I literally work on cell phones every day of my life. So I was like, okay. So I grabbed on it and I just snugly pulled and the cables came right out of the housing. I was like, you son of a bitch. Thank you, Tristan. Uh, the pro controllers are really easy to do. Uh, so if you wanted to get one of these skins for your pro controller, it is a cakewalk to do these. Uh, I don't remember the name of the brand, but if you go over to my video where I did these, um, you can actually see uh, what brands I used because I actually linked them in that video. I know I'm not always the best about linking certain shit unless I'm like 
and these weren't so these weren't even like a sponsored video it's not like i received their product for free i just did a lot of research on what people had complaints about on some of them um and went with the ones that i thought seemed to be the best i will tell you if you go to do your console those screws the tri-tip screws strip insanely easily um some of them stripped out on me so bad i couldn't get them out i wound up having to use a drill and actually drilling off the tips of the screws um and then backing the screw out yeah yeah <laughs> it was it was pretty it was pretty annoying there's aj we're just getting all kinds of people People are just excited because I usually don't let this kind of stuff happen on my streams. Are you Guitar God, AJ? Like the one I play with on PlayStation when I played Friday the 13th? Because if so, I think you changed your YouTube or your YouTube name then. No, you're fine, man. Sorry for making you load. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm on my way from imaginary, from imag, imag, imaginary land. I think you went for imaginary. Y'all screwing around. See, you changed you changed your name on YouTube then. Let me go in here. Oh, you got a bee sting, buddy. What up, Eli Garmodon? Garmodon? Garmodon. Pretty sure it's Garmodon. Do you think Animal Crossing is worth it? Yes, but I'm also a big fan of the Animal Crossing franchise. Great, I can pay off the rest of this loan. Ah! Uh, I won't say what I'm drinking either, by the way, but it's pineapple juice and something else. Those of you who know me very well can probably assume what the something else is. There's one thing I like to mix with tropical juices. I had to dump a lot of this into my uh, inventory in the house. My storage. <laughs> I was about to say, that was a nasty bee sting. Uh, if you get stung by the bees, that's what happens to your face. Um, if you get stung twice, you faint and wind up in front of your house. So there's Anthony. Bo I have two Anthonys in here now. Anthony's very proud of his ocarina. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, that Pro Dude 10, that's my son, Anthony. Oh, yeah. To communicate, you can hit this. I'll just put in wow. Uh, you can actually plug in a USB keyboard as well into your docking station on your switch so like you put in a wireless usb keyboard and it'll actually work for you to text and communicate like this or you can use the nintendo app i know a lot of people just circumvent voice chat issues with using discord and that's milk 100 percent. there is milk in that cup uh no no milk just pineapple juice and something else And haters just found out how hard it is to buy a firearm when they need one. Yeah, right now it, uh, I mean, with everyone being trapped, oh, oh my god, yes, I need the pear. Oh, that shit's getting planted. Pear tree. Thank you so much, uh... I, what are the other ones so i've got peaches if you guys want you can take any of the fruit from my island 
help yourself to the fruit. Take it over to your island, plant it, fill out yours. So I need two more fruits, and I'll have the other two, which I don't know what they are. It is alcohol, but what type? It's pineapple juice. This should be an easy one. Uh, let me go purge some of this stuff. So one big change they have is like all this stuff you see I crafted. I didn't even actually have to find it. You have to find cards to get uh, do-it-yourself recipes. What up, Sabre? Yeah, Sabre, you are late. I'm already almost done with my first beverage here. So all these are the cards that I've collected so far. And they all require different things. Your tools actually break in this. Uh, I thought I was going to be a lot more annoyed by it than I am. I'm not. I'm not as annoyed as I thought I would. I hate breakable tools. It's one of the only things I absolutely hate about the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Is I don't like having to constantly repair or replace my weapons. Um, it's not as bad in this because you're not like getting attacked <laughs> unless you shake a tree and there's a whole bunch of wasps then you're getting attacked violently um, the residents that are on the island you have to actually set up their houses so like right now if I wanted to go buy land I, I can't because I have a bunch of people running around in here but you can drop maybe it, do I have one down no I don't um, so you mark off the area that their house is going to go into. The first three, you have to build a bunch of stuff for the inside and the outsides of their houses. <laughs> this is awesome. This is uh, the most amount of social interaction my son can have right now due to social distancing and everything. Um, with the trees, like how I got mine is you can actually go to that stand I was at where we use Nook Miles here. I'll show you the stand. I was at it a second ago. But, um... <clears throat> you earn those Nook Miles. Those are the things you earn for... Thanks for the fruit. Anytime, you are more than welcome. I know it's kind of a royal pain in the ass. Unless you're someone who buys, like, two Nook travel tickets a day. Which I do. How many hours of gameplay do you think there is? I want to get big game during quarantine. Uh, Ellie Stone, let me be very honest with you. I'm going to explain an Animal Crossing game for you. Um, there is no limit to the amount of play in an Animal Crossing game because you are there's no story. You are literally just living in this virtual world and doing these mundane tasks. I know it really doesn't sound entertaining. Like, it sounds like a boring as shit game. Um, and then here's me and both my kids absolutely loving and enjoying it. Because you're just, you're just kind of customizing your whole world. You're interacting with these little animal people that are, for the most part, all very friendly. Except for the hippo really weirds me out that I have. Um, so, all this stuff you can buy using your Nook Miles. This Nook Miles ticket here... If you go over to the dodo where I opened the gate at to let everyone come in, you can choose to fly. And um, this will take you to just some random island with trees and stuff on it. That's where I took all of the fruits from. So that's why I have the coconuts, I have the apples, I have the cherries, all from that. Uh, but you can also get fish there and fish that are harder to find on like your island. So, like, here on my island, it might take a long time before I find, like, an oarfish or a marlin. Uh, but there, you're more likely to find it. Look, honey, I am offering to buy you a Switch, and then you just keep complaining, saying no. She likes to be a martyr. Um, so these cards here that you see where it has like the little acorn on it, those are do it yourself recipes. So if I buy that, I literally, as long as I can get the resources, make as many of that as I want. Um, the leaves are just one offs. Like when you buy it, you're only getting one of it. See how it says mail delivery to you have to wait till the next day and it will arrive in your mailbox. 
Um, when you start off, too, you're only going to have a tent. I need the money for more important things. But she can't tell you what those more important things are. I did buy the cotton candy stall. So the whole point of what I'm currently doing is I'm trying to make my island. Saber's going to love that. Saber might buy this game just so he can get the stupid monster statue. He'd get that. And then I know damn well Saber would also get the robot up here. And that's a craftable one. I bet they would be like centerpieces on his island. Um, I have the Nook backpack on. I have the Nook umbrella. It's just in my stash at the moment. I have the carpet. I'm currently saving. For, oh, I have enough for that. Hell yes. Yeah, well, I've been waiting for that shit. I also have the max pocket upgrade. She needs some pallets. Nah, bro, you really didn't like that? Would you like to make another selection? No, because I only have 370. Time to do some fishing. Uh, fishing's the easiest way to make some money. L Hound, this is literally all you're doing the whole time in the game. You're making friends with these happy little animals. What's that? What is that? Are you dropping something? I, I assume you're trying to tell me to pick it up. Oh, I have nine pairs. A paper lantern? Hang on. Hang on. Let me do you a solid. AJ, do you have an ocarina? I assume you can hear me. I don't think I need to type it. Do you have the ocarina or the pan flute? Oh, yeah. 60 bucks, hound. I'll use my first or second paycheck in April to buy this. Dude, Dylan, it is just such a calming little game. You didn't even buy most of the Jeffree Star stuff. Matthew Pagan, one of my subscribers, bought her that stuff and sent it to her. Stream is delayed, but I don't have an ocarina. Okay. And she gave me a paper kite. Let me get my clay. I gotta get some clay out of the damn storage. Uh, let me put that away. Oh, I already have a pre-made one. I really like how much storage you have in this one because uh, you didn't used to have a lot of storage. Let me see what I have to do for the pan flute. I don't remember how many that is. Pan flute. I might have scrolled past it. No, it's right here. Young spring bamboo. Should have enough. Nope. I had to harvest some more of that real quick. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta drop it for you outside. It won't let me drop it in my house because apparently it's rude to redecorate in front of others. This game and its damn manners. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a couple swings into my bamboo. Uh, three chops with an axe, three chops with an axe, and you cut down the whole thing. Uh, so you gotta limit it yourself to two, because if you go more than the two, you're gonna lose whatever it is you just chopped down. Trent is going home. Thank you for the pears, Trent. I'm pretty sure it was Trent who dropped the pears. Hello. 
Much rather tear apart demons than Doom, personally. Uh, Saber, I get it. Doom is a very popular game. I need spring bamboo. So that's non-spring bamboo and one spring bamboo. That's regular bamboo. The bamboo was actually on an island that had all bamboo. Like that's pretty much all that island was. All right, let me make you a pan flute now, AJ. I thought Trent dropped something too, or maybe Trent was the one who had the um, bee sting. Whew. Pan flute. All right, where is it? Pan flute. Now you have both the instruments. Well, those are the two instruments I have. I'm sure there's probably more. I think the pairs are from AJ. Can you give Anthony a pair? Anthony, come here. Where is he? Where is Anthony at? Not as in Anthony as in AJ, but Anthony as in my son who's running around like a maniac somewhere highly what you can go on my island I have it set to open AJ if you don't already have the other fruits like the cherries and the apples and everything you should take some Nah, I don't want a pear. He doesn't have pears. He gets like this. Like, he won't do the stuff to go get the other um, people to move in on his island either. Yeah, if you want to. My daughter really wants to say hi to you all. Go ahead. Hi. All right, go upstairs. Get in your bed. You can play with us, but you got to be in bed. At my island. At your island what? Right, so, Anthony, because I know you can hear me upstairs, if you plant the fruits on your island, you'll grow more fruits. So take that pear and plant it on your island, and you'll have pears as well. For those of you who have children, I hope yours aren't as stubborn as mine. My island is on lockdown, so I have that mask on. Uh, if they would have had some gloves, I'd be wearing some gloves right now, too. But I uh, haven't seen any gloves yet. Plant another pair here. Plant some of them up here, because I cleared out some trees up here. I don't remember why I cleared out the trees. There was a reason. Ooh, message in a bottle. Uh, that's another thing. You should get daily messages in a bottle The wash up on shore. They're usually um, do-it-yourself recipes. At some point, I'm going to have to move like all of my fruit trees up here. 
Because I'm starting to get kind of populated on this island. I think I've got like seven residents here right now. Seven or eight. But mostly up here, for some reason, it was just populated with pine trees. Well, cedar. Cedar trees. Let me go get that message in a bottle now. Did you time travel? Uh, so not until I did the stream and I time traveled for the stream so everyone could see me actually doing stuff rather than it just being dead. Because I've, I've literally been playing all day. I mean, I'm just saying, Anthony, if you don't want to wear a mask, that's at your own risk. Okay. We've got hand sanitizer stations. How big is the island? Um, I mean, it's pretty big. But, so, Ellie, you completely can remap the whole island. You pick where everything goes. You have to fund and do all of the stuff on the island. Um, so... Also, when you get far enough in, you'll get terramorphing uh, tools. So you'll be able to widen rivers and move the streams and all of that stuff. Um, right now, I do not have any of that. Kitty Leah from Candyland. Yes, that is very much so our daughter. In a nutshell. To the lucky duck who picks this up, I set my mind to making up the next big thing and do-it-yourself recipes. And lo and behold, I had the genius, I'd had this genius idea. Whoever you are, I hope you're in the mood to craft up a brainstorm. Try it out, you won't be sorry. Jail bars. I know I already had a set of jail bars. But most of my day is just spent fishing to farm for bells, um, picking up seashells and stuff like that. But I mean, your big things are you want to check for your fossils every day. So like when you sign in, check for your fossils, check, see if there's any special vendors like Kix was in yesterday for me. The whole pocket fam is here, uh, except for my wife who won't let me buy her a switch. I'm telling you when we get that stimulus package, Uh, this fish is called a dab, by the way. Uh, it is not a very pricey fish. You want to get, like, red snappers and koi. Uh, goldfish even fetch a pretty penny. I don't really understand why goldfish fetch a pretty penny, but whatever. Uh, horse mackerel does not fetch a pretty penny either. Put people in jail. Uh, the jail bars go in your house. I mean, I guess I could set up a jail cell outside. It would make really a lot of sense in the bedroom that I have. Let Nick buy you a Switch, Val. You know, the craziest part is, so I got this game. My son saved some gift cards to get this game for um, that he got from Christmas. Because he was super excited about this. Like, he has loved Animal Crossing. Uh, when I sold my 3DS, I gave him all of my games that I had. Even my digital ones. Which I had Animal Crossing digitally. I got it for free. I earned enough points to get it. Um, so I gave him everything that I had. Like, I transferred it all over to his system. And uh, that's when he kind of wound up falling in love with Animal Crossing. Stupid fish. That's what I get for drinking and streaming can't fish for shit uh 
But the different sizes of the shadow give you kind of an idea of what type of fish it could be. Like, this is probably a sea bass. Or a sea plus bass. I caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C+. Plus. Better watch out. I have the mask on. Oh, I sneezed on you. <laughs> Did Leah really just send Z's in my chat? I don't know if you guys saw the press conference where the lady was talking and Donald Trump was like right next to her and she goes, yesterday I had a bit of a fever and he like was like, oh my, and he like jetted out from away from her. It was like the funniest shit I ever saw in my whole life. It's a black bass, by the way. Anthony's just, <laughs> Anthony's just following me and clapping. Thank you, AJ. Let's play tag. Excuse. This is how little the social interaction my kids have been getting because of this whole lockdown. Who is it? What do you mean, who is it? Why is Leah just sitting all creepy like behind my house? Ah, uh, I bopped her on the head. <laughs> bopped her on the head several times. Then it started to get boring that I found you and it's Fab again. I have some weird villagers. But I had a lot of really cool do-it-yourself recipes because I like doing it myself. Like a water fountain. We got a, we got a drinking fountain over here. And we got this bell fountain. Uh, you have to get the drinking fountain to unlock the water fountain. And eventually, I'll unlock, like, roads. Yes, his initials are Anthony's initials. Uh, I'll get the roads to where I can pave roads in here. And put stuff in. see if there's anything worth buying at the able sisters uh the easiest way to really shop their goods that they have available is to just go into the fitting room oh my god i think i have to buy a nintendo basketball jersey you know what I was a really big Bulls fan as a kid, so we're going with that. And yes, I wear a lot of khaki shorts in real life, so they're on my character. Oh, you could have a cheerleader outfit. Anthony's shirt is really well done, like surprisingly well done. Excuse me? Is that a Princess Leia bun wig? Or no, that's more like an Amish. You could be Amish in this game. Got your doctor's mask. A head kerchief. Oh, that's that's a good one. Get stockings. Those look like some Doc Martens, almost. Oh, you need some flip-flops here, too? $4,300 for some flip-flops? Excuse me? Sure. I, I didn't want to wear it. Oh. Oh, and I've got the socks on with it. I have to go change. I really didn't mean to have it all on. You need gloves on. They don't have gloves. This game is the best. XP, yes it is. This game is fantastic. It's just very calming. 
Uh, it relieves any form of anxiety that I have. Ooh. My wife plays a lot of mobile games up in the bedroom. Like, that's usually, like, right now, if she weren't watching my stream, she'd probably be playing some type of version of Candy Crush. Uh, by the way, if you don't know where this... I want to see in the chat, which one of you can tell me where this Lucha Libre statue is from? I know the game. Uh, this game was actually on the demo for my Wii in my GameStop when I worked there. And we used to compete on it to see who could get the high score. But who can tell me what game that Lucha Libre is from? We'll put back on the Nook Ink shirt. I'm safe now. I have a mask. I'm just saying, the second I saw that mask, I was like, I wonder if they knew going into this or if they were just like, somehow, because I know how those masks were very popular in Japan before this. So that's kind of why I was like, Wii Sports. No, Dylan, it is not from Wii Sports. It's another Nintendo franchise I absolutely love, but it's not very well known. It's fantastically fun, though. This specific Lucha Libre. Anyone? Bueller? I tried to put stuff on in Yeti. What do you mean? I wanted to put stuff on um, your Ask Mommy to help you. We'll ask her to help you. Val used Google. Guacamelee. It is not from Guacamelee. Guacamelee is not a Nintendo franchise. Uh, it is from a game called Rhythm Heaven. Uh, those Rhythm Heaven characters also then appear in some of the WarioWare titles as well. But it is a rhythm game. Uh, it is fantastically fun. Like, some of the rhythm games are like, you have to stab a pea that's getting flicked past with a fork. Um, they're just absolutely insane. Of course, I would know a bunch of useless information that like that, right? But we used to play it all the time because it was on our demo unit. I had the high score, by the way. I forgot about it, but I think a lot of people did. Uh, it's one of the few games that I keep, like, honestly hoping gets announced for the Switch. Um, hell, I'd even take the Wii version's remake at this point, because the Wii version was really solid. Was there anything I wanted to buy in Nooks and Crannies? the hell is that on the table it's an oil lamp if that would have been a hand like a hand sanitizer i would have bought it but it's not You gotta be careful when you spell nothing like that. You know, Wii Sports Resort was only good because it had disc golf on it. And the three-point shootout. The three-point shootout was fun. You know, their inventory just doesn't really change all that often in here. Uh, so that's the shirt and everything that Anthony designed. He literally designed a controller. Uh, I was I was pretty shocked by how well that turned out, because my design work just turned out terribly. I'm not patient enough to design stuff in this game. I think the part that bothered me about the designing function of this game uh, is that 
it doesn't work with the touch screen. So you have to doodle everything using the controller, which seems like a huge miss to me. Plant bamboo shoots, plant trees, plant flowers, sell seashells, customize items. I feel like I'm kind of shafted on which ones they gave me here. I don't really want to plant more bamboo. I was kind of happy with the little bit of bamboo I had. We're just going to do it up here where no one will care about it. Unless I have to, oh, no, yeah, no, I need the actual shoots. I don't think I have any on me either. We'll just fill that back up. Yeah, this is essentially Animal Crossing. That's all you do all day. Um, when you get the Nook Miles tickets, like usually I'm just grinding out to do all of that stuff. You can also sell, so like when it's closed, um, the shop, you can actually sell to this box out here, but they you don't get as much as what you usually do. What is that? A smoker? Excuse me? Hang on. Like, is it a meat smoker? Ah! Oh, I can't drop it. Hang on. Let me see what I got that's cool I can give you, Anthony. It's craft. Ooh, all right, let me, I need to get stuff out of my inventory. Hang on. I don't keep my crafting materials on my person. You have a limited number of inventory slots. So keep in mind, this is the max upgraded inventory. So that's what your inventory looks like after you get all of the pocket upgrades. And yes, that is where I focus the majority of my attention right off the bat. Move the pockets, move the pockets. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. Let's craft. Wow, Lee. Lee put on one of the surgical masks as well. Uh, Lee is sort of what we shorten our daughter's name of Leah to. Uh, I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff for, C or for AJ here. Hang on. Keep crafting. What else? I need that one. Keep crafting. Yeah, no, she does that to me too, Val. Don't don't feel bad. It's not AJ, I'm gonna give you stuff. You came to my island, and I. That's part of the fun of this, is giving people the stuff they don't have yet. Alright, I had a bunch of stuff for you. I. And also, trust me, like, I have so much of the extras that I do have. I 
I'd craft you one of these seashell fountains, but uh, that required like some big clams, and those suckers took a while to track down. Let's see if I can find some cool bugs while we're out here. Here's Leah. Oh, you put on a cheerleader outfit and what appears to be Bob's. When I hit Anthony with the net, he gets really upset. <laughs> I think she's in the menu or something right now. Ooh, a big clam, eh? Yes, a big clam. What on earth is Anthony doing back here? <laughs> He's laughing upstairs. <laughs> oh, so this is really funny. You know how you guys found out I had a job interview? The night this game came out, AJ, AJ's seeing it right now. I feel like he meant to say that's what you get, but he just put that's what you. Oh, Leah's got the flimsy net. Oh, he might be writing something on my message board. Uh, I put on my message board and I actually had my gates open the night this came out. Uh, I just said I had big news and I didn't want to talk to anyone really about it yet. So I didn't know really what was going on. Uh, but I had a job interview that next morning because I originally was going to stream this and I was like, I, I can't stream it that night. I've just, I've got some big stuff to take care of in the morning. And the message board says I have a job interview tomorrow on it. Uh, none of my coworkers thankfully joined that night. All right. So my wife is now playing on Valerie's account or on Leah's account. All but one has what? What did you just say, Anthony? There's a way to see the chat log. Not judging, excuse me? But see, this game's just very cute, it's whimsical. Oh, hey. I should be the head of PR for Albion. Me, Yowza. Uh, but it's just, it's a very relaxing, very relaxing game. What a huge war. Oop, nope. Sorry, Marina. Didn't mean to hit you in the head. Oh, y'all should go talk to Marina. She apparently has homemade treats. I've never actually talked to the people when uh, I have people on my island. But so a big thing that you want to do is use those Nook travel tickets when you have the extra Nook miles um, and go to those islands and farm the fish. So fish like the squid here sell for a very high price. Um, the red, whatever the hell it was called, red snapper? I think it's the red snapper. Not as good as the pink snapper though. Oh, another sea bass. 
All right, so you can also sell stuff, as I said, over here, which I'm going to drop in here just so you guys can see. And sometimes I'll just drop in here to avoid having to talk to the kids inside. Because you can literally... But as I said, they do sell for a lower price when you do this. Uh, so I try to only do it when uh, the store's closed. Or even sometimes I'll hold on to the stuff in my storage and then turn it in the next morning. I gotta dump some stuff into my storage real quick. Take Nick's switch over my dead body. I'm offering to buy you your own. You did the same shit with me with the Xbox, too. Oh, I want my very own Xbox. Fine, I'll buy you an Xbox. No, I don't want to spend our money on it. No, you're wrong. Like, I get it. I'm not in, like, the best. I'm not in a bad financial situation, but I'm not, like, loaded. Uh, so, like, I get it. But, it is what it is. So, I bought, Anthony bought this game with his own gift cards. That was the other story I was telling earlier. And uh, he was super excited. So, the morning of my interview, um, I actually went straight over to Walmart, or Target, and um, I bought him his game with the gift cards. Came home, he was super excited. Like, I woke him up, and he was like, oh my god, you're the best father ever. It's like, you paid for it. I just went and got it for you. And uh, <clears throat> Leah woke up. She overheard him excited. And she goes, well, where's mine? And I was like, you've never played an Animal Crossing game. You didn't really express any interest in it before this. And I was like, Anthony also bought his own. And I was like, are you going to buy your own? She goes, I don't have any money. She says it just like that, too. Like, so nonchalantly. So, um, I went and got her a copy. Did I really break my shovel? When did I break my shovel? What all do I need to make a shovel? Anthony is cool. Uh, my son really enjoys when people are on my island. And, like, to him, it's just, like, a ball. Like, this is the most human interaction he gets outside of, like, us. Uh, because of the whole, you gotta distance yourself from other humans right now. Flimsy shovel. Uh, so to get the higher end equipment, you have to upgrade that. I believe I had to use Nook Miles, if I remember correctly. I just need hardwood and then an iron ingot. Okay. I can, I can muster all of that. Uh, I keep a lot of resources in my inventory at all times. Back in my day, it was one game for the entire family. To be fair, back in our day, though, you could play multiple people on the same console. I mean, you can with this, too, but the second person is very limited on what they can do. How many Switches are in your house? Three, Hound. Three. Both kids have one, and I have one. Uh, Anthony got his the Christmas they came out as his Christmas gift. I got mine day of release. Leah got hers this past Christmas, and now that my wife is super into Fortnite, um, it's kind of more of an interest now for her as well a little bit. Ooh. Kill the fish. Whoa, Anthony. If you could hear the amount of laughing. I thought I had an iron ingot. No? Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. At all. Shh. 
should I craft? I don't know. I needed the iron ingot still. So these resources you don't really want to sell either. If you're going to sell anything, save your resources and then sell the stuff that's like the daily value item. Like I need it and you're on my, like I need it and you're on my stuff. I don't know what you're saying with that. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you had a Switch right now, you could be playing it upstairs. Rather than playing these stupid little phone games you play, you could play your damn Fortnite. I mean, they're just having fun, no fish killing. Uh, I had... It was Pat joined the other night, Pat Carrillo. He's another one of my followers. And Anthony was just having fun running around with him. Y'all are going to make fishing very hard this way. Anthony and Leah are having so much fun. This is why I miss school. They need social interaction and this sucks. They're getting social interaction. Unfortunately, Leah cannot be trusted to socially interact with people on her own. I'm like a sneaky little ninja. Away from me, I mean. So, Dylan, the thing is, is school's probably going to end up being canceled for the rest of the year. Just for being 100% honest. They're probably going to cancel it up until next school year. <sighs> I mean, it's already been briefly talked about. I wish they told you where people were on the map. Yeah, that would be helpful. I feel like that turn was way bigger in terms of where that landed than what I thought it was going to be. Man, I wish I just had like a give me school year back when I was in school. Right? Like, could you imagine if this were your senior year? Like, no prom, no nothing. Like, you just got screwed out of, like, most of your senior moments. I'm sure they'll have, like, a makeup something for them, but... Really? I mean, that's cool that they're providing Chromebooks. I mean, do we need the Chromebooks? No. Would it be nice for them to have the Chromebooks? Kinda. I feel like there are parents though, like I, would, I wouldn't ask for them just because I feel like there are honestly people out there who do need them. You didn't go to prom, Dylan. 
prom is a very, very important moment in a high schooler's life, okay? I was very not in the right state of mind at my prom, and I may have danced with my French teacher because I thought it was funny. I was so bad at French, but she absolutely was so sweet to me about it because I could speak Italian and uh, English. So, because I already had Italian, I took two years of Italian at my first high school, which was Bishop Watterson. And then uh, they, I was, since my family speaks Italian, I wasn't allowed um, to take a third year. So I had to take something else. So I was like, okay, we'll take French. I mean, it's it's got to be similar, right? It's, it's one of them Latin-based languages. Hell no, it's not similar. French is the hardest damn one to learn. Spanish is at least somewhat similar. I had to take, like, basic Spanish, but... I mean, you ask Saber, I butcher Spanish all the damn time. And it's just the accents. The way I say the things is where he'll tell you I butcher it. Yeah, I think I think that might be what Santa brings the kids this year. Maybe some Chromebooks. I could see that being a good Santa gift to the kids. So Santa, if you're if you're listening right now, Chromebooks. That's what the kids need. They both got switches, they both got Amazon tablets. They they don't need no more fun electronics. <laughs> Hang on. Khajiit has wares. Khajiit has wares if you have coin. I'll close the window in a second. Get the Mac books over my dead body. Will we buy Mac products in this house? You were what? I was just catching a bee. Maybe we'll you were back. catching a bee? No. I was um, catching a bee and then um, I was driving to the bridge. And Look how sick my guy looks after he sneezes. I think I have a fever. You ate the hand sanitizer? I got a bunch of hands. Bless you. <laughs> oh. How do you do that? Sneeze? How? You pull up your reactions menu. It's the right button, the right trigger. Can I join back in, Daddy? Huh? Can I join back in? You want to join back in? Yeah, so we'll pick me up. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> mm. 
This is literally what customers do in my store. They will cough all over everything. <laughs> Get him out. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed that way too much. Literally, I had a little kid coughing all over everything in my store. And the parents did nothing about it. Jake, <laughs> that's animal abuse. Oh, sneeze. Oh, sneeze. You know what's funny? Is Sable literally, like, rarely ever talks. I think it's the freckles. <laughs> uh, I'm just so happy they had a sneezing animation. Uh, you poisoned my shop. I'm so sorry. You'll need to disinfect everything now. Leah joining back in. You should go. You guys should talk to Marina. She's the pink octopus walking around. That's Mabel and Sable. And then there's a even more swanky designer hedgehog, and her name is uh, Label. Get it? Label designer because the label. Yeah. But who would think, like, literally a game, because one of my buddies, his girlfriend just got really into it. Uh, he's actually my former store manager from GameStop. He's the one who got me into the current company I worked for uh, six years ago. Uh, he's since left the company. Uh, but he messaged me a while back, literally earlier today, while me and the kids were watching Hook and eating dinner. Uh, my mom ordered us Chinese carryout and had it sent to the house and um he messaged me and he's like hey Allie got really into animal crossing what the hell is the point of this game and my exact words to him were there is no point that is the point of the game and i think for a lot of us it's so hard to really explain no talk to her she's super sweet She's like my favorite villager. I want to know how you do that sneeze. I press this. You have to find them all. So different people will give you these. Oh, one, can you give me Okay, can you move? I cannot give you that. I have no way of giving you that. Let me go sneeze all over everything in the museum. You've had furniture drop from trees? Excuse me? I ain't ever had no shit like that. I can go give this little guy over here a little bit of money, though. Lloyd the droid. Oh, I guess I spent a lot more money than I thought I did. Just have 167,000 left on that. Did you hear of the guy licking toilets for the Corona challenge? Oh yeah. All right. So let's let's explain this. There is a coronavirus challenge where you are supposed to just like lick random things. The dude got banned from Twitter because of this too, because he was posting it. Um, he has coronavirus now, by the way. Just one tree. So if I shake one tree a lot. Random shit will start dropping from it. Oh my god. I didn't even know it would just keep dropping sticks. Huh. Some people are so dumb. Right? Like, let's drink some fishbowl cleaner. 
and then blame Trump because it contains the same ingredient as the malaria medicine that he was talking about. Or, uh, what was, let's eat some Tide Pods. Like, what is wrong with our current culture? Huh. No, it's like the money rock one tree per day has an item. Lindsay, I have so many trees though. Did they just tell me to take time to tidy up later? Oh my. Sup with her? With Leah? I don't know. It's your sister. You both came from the same gym pool. A book. Oh, they're inside the shop, I think. What did Tom do with this place? And what the hell book are they talking about? You got a lot of stick there. Those sticks are how you build the flimsy. It's free. What the hell are they talking about? I feel like Anthony is literally just antagonizing her at the moment. Uh huh. I think I know what he's doing. It's just fun to play store, apparently, now. I have <laughs> as my guy just starts shivering too. I was I would like to speak to the manager. Let him know Karen is here. Get out. Oh my god. Anthony, if this is how you talk to customers, I'll hire you. <laughs> uh, this is literally the dumbest shit I think I've ever done on a stream. <laughs> and I'm just having a blast doing it. Stop typing so fast. Yeah. <laughs> 
I wonder if it'll let me type this just because there's a cuss word in it. Guys, this is retail 101 right here. <laughs> oh, I never got this far. <laughs> uh... Okay, boomer. I, you know what? I'm not even offended when I get called a boomer these days. Leah's typing something. AJ's typing something. I don't feel like Anthony has the switch. I need a damn pair. I just got one. AJ gave me one. Come to the back pocket streams where I do absolute shit. <laughs> oh, this is how you start a professional streaming career, guys. You just make an ass out of yourself. I don't feel like Anthony has his switch. I feel like Valerie is on his switch. Because I don't feel like Anthony would say, clean it up with your bare hands. The God Leah thing? That he would say. That is exactly something Anthony would say to Leah. God, Leah. Just like, he does it like Napoleon Dynamite, too. Tina, come get your dinner. They're both in Anthony's room. They're both in his room? No, apparently both kids are in Anthony's room. Oh yeah, let's just sit here looking like we're dying. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying, like, this. what other game could you literally just do this stupid shit in? And don't get me wrong, I do some stupid shit in Grand Theft Auto, too, sometimes. Oh, shit, I dropped my weed! Sick one, come here. Did Anthony just call me sick one and tell me to come here? Ten feet apart, please. It's six feet. I dropped my weed, AJ. It wasn't my fault. I really need to plug in a fucking keyboard for this.
<laughs> AJ knew it was coming. If you want, you can have something. I can have what? I can Look, there are three things you need to have a lot of during the coronavirus, okay? Old 50s Playboy magazines have to be from the 50s. Uh, uh, you, need, you need some Beyblades. You have some Beyblades. Uh, you also need some lube. You're good. You'll be fine. You'll survive this. Don't forget some Jello. Need some jello too. I'll see you later, Brandon Mason. Enjoy your night. I need to get myself. In. I'm happy that me just standing in a snore, sneezing all over shit, is the selling point on this game. I mean, that's kind of the beauty to it, though. It's like you can just you can do whatever you want. It's just a very mellow. Enjoy your time playing it kind of game. Uh, obviously, to earn the stuff, you got to kind of grind. It's like there's a lot of grind to this. Brandon needs a pair. If Brandon was on my island, Brandon could... Uh, no, my pear trees aren't up yet. This is a beautiful, healthy stream. We're showing you how to not handle a coronavirus right now. Don't stand that close to everyone in a store especially when one of them sneezing on everything that's that's your first warning sign i want pizza of course leah brought poop into the conversation my kids love potty humor we were uh, sitting on the sofa and we were watching Hook while eating Chinese food, right? And I farted, but it was like the, the you would have never heard anything. Uh, it, so it was very quiet. And uh, out of nowhere, you just hear Anthony go, Ew, Daddy, did you poop your pants? It was a bad fart. Like, I smelt it. I knew it stunk. I was just hoping it wouldn't travel. And uh, Anthony, in his loud mouth, he does that shit to me in stores, too. Like, sometimes we'll be in a store, and he'll just be like, Ew, did you fart? And I'm like, why? Why couldn't you just let me squeeze this fart out? I walked away from most people, so that way it wasn't like a public farting. And, uh, no, no. So for those of you who don't have kids, this is the kind of stuff you have to look forward to in life. Nick pooped his pants. <laughs> no, I only do that like once a year. There's always one shark that winds up getting the better of me. Never, never trust a fart, kids. Best words of advice I can give. Ew, he didn't do it? <laughs> uh, this, is, this is how we get our social interactions. In the days of the coronavirus, we role play like I'm at work. At work, sometimes I'll crop dust aisles. It's even worse when you're working with a customer and you're just like, I have to let this fart out. Like, there's no holding it in. My favorite emoji is still the sneeze. The password? Ah, 
I'm sure I'm spelling this wrong. Reasons to not drink and stream, kids. I didn't even drink that much. Ooh, money. Yeah, I knew PETA was eventually going to go after this game. So, like, when I saw it... Dude, PETA has an issue with the Tanuki suit. What? I don't even know what my son is typing. Uh, thankfully, my kids are too young to have ever experienced Club Penguin. It's a yokai. Duh. He says duh to me a lot, and I don't know why, but like as a parent, I'm like overcome with rage when he says it. <laughs> It's so like when they say no. You know that moment where Homer Simpson's just like choking Bart? That just flashes through my mind when he says that. Like, duh and no. Just like, hmm. I see. You have chosen to disobey the creator. See, it's not agitating when it comes from you. It's agitating when it comes from my son, Anthony. <laughs> like today when it was, I need you to do your schoolwork. Because, this, this, you know, they've got schoolwork to do. Don't have a cow, man. Oh, I don't have a cow. For the most part, I'm the calm parent. For the most part. My name is Anthony. But you are not my son, Anthony. <laughs> it does not still count. It's very different. You know, I almost rebought Friday the 13th for the Switch because I was like, man, that game would really go well on here because they released it for it. Oh, did I finally hit the 500? Oh, I caught the 50 in a row without losing a single fish, didn't I? I never thought I was going to hit that one. I definitely didn't think I'd hit it right now. I always wind up screwing one up. Farts everywhere in the store. Don't get Friday the 13th on Switch. Does it run terribly? At the end of this, I'll show you all what my Switch game collection currently looks like. And I don't even have everything installed. I have a 256 gigabyte SD card, and I constantly kick myself in the ass going, I should have just bought the 500. The Switch is my console of choice. It's just bad. Huh. I mean, I enjoyed it a lot on PlayStation. I figured the Switch, I mean, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a huge graphically intensive game, so I figured it would have ran alright. Uh, 
I bought The Witcher on the Switch. The Witcher and Skyrim. Two games that no matter how many times I release, I will probably rebuy each time. I mean, it's a blast on PS4. It's just, it's a very different concept to a game. Buy one, get one free. What the hell kind of bug? Are, are they still in the store just dicking around? Uh, you mean the switcher? Yes, the switcher. Those I spend most of my day just fishing in this game, selling it, buying new stuff, upgrading my house, collecting resources. Pretty much breeze. It's a fun game. Like, it's just, it's one of those games where you can spend a lot of time in it. You don't feel stressed out. Like, I get really, really competitive when I play online games. Like, those of you who have played Call of Duty with me or you've played uh, Rainbow Six with me, I'm not very um, mellow when I'm playing those. I am very... Uh, intense. I know it's you. I, I saw that. Man, all my villagers are out right now. Girl, stop making sad faces. <laughs> the funniest part is Anthony doesn't realize that that is Anthony, not a girl. <laughs> I spend too much time on this game. Me too, and I work a lot. So imagine how that goes. I'm literally, the second I'm off work, I'm on this game. It's kind of why I want to get it for Val. It's like... Then we can all play together. Plus, I'm going to have the teacup ride here now tomorrow. I got to collect 10 more of these to get some more Nook Miles. Anthony meets Anthony. Yeah. It's like the Matrix. His little mind is going to explode. Did I just get two of them? There's a way to twirl your shovel before you dig it in. Can't remember how to do it now. Uh, those clams I'm digging up, you can use to make fish bait, though. So if there isn't a fish in the area, you can use that to lure in a fish. I'm a tree. Oh, my. You need a metal detector. Are you saying Anthony can dodge bullets? I don't think he can't. Did y'all drop a thumbs up? Because you should. Yeah, those thumbs up are really helpful, by the way, guys. I really appreciate those. Uh, supposedly, they help me uh, stop losing subscribers left and right. So every so often, YouTube goes through what's called like a purge. Not like the type of purge where you hear sirens and you have to go on a killing spree. 
but the kind of where it removes accounts that they feel aren't really active anymore from your channel, uh, which is weird to me because, well, I've had the same YouTube account literally since I've started YouTube. Like, I don't change accounts. And uh, eventually it removes anyone it feels are inactive subscribers. So, like, no one uses that account anymore. It'll remove that account. Uh, by the way, there's different types of bridges that you can put in. These were the ones I decided on. I thought the wood looked more appropriate for the island place that mine is. You can put in the traditional stone bridges that are more common in animal crossing as well that's just not the choice that i went with oh i almost had it there Uh, talking tree, what? Damn it, he got out! <laughs> See, look at just how, look at how much fun it is to just dick around on this game. Like, I'm, I'm doing nothing of purpose or accomplishing anything at this point, and I am having an absolute blast doing nothing. <laughs> it's the way life should be, kids. Damn it. Come here, you little clam. I love that he's using good punctuation. And I'm over here just saying, like, fuck it to punctuation. To be fair, though, he's also playing in tablet mode. So he's using the touch screen. I would help, but I can't dig. Really? To be fair, for what I'm trying to do, I have to dig these some bitches up. Which I should be really close at this point. And there it is. Where I got it stuck. That's fair. Animal Crossing is a very fun game. I'm actually just pleased to see him using like imaginative play where he's like, for those of you who aren't aware, my son Anthony upstairs is autistic. So when I see him using his imagination, that's something that's kind of more uncommon. And usually takes more coercing to get him to do. Um, so, only best friends can dig. Oh, Anthony, I don't have you marked as a best friend. Here, I'll give you, I'll give you the privilege to be a best friend. Because I know you won't jack up my island. The other two best friends are my kids. So, you know. The sad part is I trust them less than I do you. What up, MC? How you doing? How's uh, 
you guys have a kid now, right? If I remember correctly. How's that uh, going with the whole coronavirus stuff going on? You good? Keeping the kid at home, wife at home? You're fired. I mean, uh, Anthony can't fire me, so, you know. Uh, no, that's that's a different Anthony. That is, Anthony is an AJ. Anthony, my son, is Pro Dude 10. I know, it's, it's going to get very confusing. Well, I almost have enough for a Nook Miles ticket. What else am I close enough to knock out to get one? I definitely am not going to hit the angling for perfection tonight. I mean, I only need 203 more and all, or 293 more. The black girl is Bensie. It's me, Bensie. My kid is almost a year old. We are in the middle of nowhere, so we don't have coronavirus here yet. Doing good overall. Thanks for asking. Dude, if I had, like, a young kid, this would be, like, one of those times where I'm just, like, no one's leaving the damn house. My kids are, at, like, the age where, like, you know, their immune system's all right, so I don't really need to be too concerned. All right, I got a bunch of clams. I don't usually buy, make fish food, but we're... They should have put a barfing emoji in. <laughs> and then Leah just tells Anthony no. To be fair, I picked Anthony because I like the name... Well, there's a lot of reasons, but it's also like the com like those names that we used to find very common or very uncommon now. I'm a pro at this game. Yeah, he says that a lot. Whose hat? Yeah, but it's still one of those things. So the big issue is you can't be with the, ch like, so if your kid gets it, they quarantine your kid in the hospital. That's like the big issue to me. Like if our kids were to get it, they would take our kids to the hospital. We wouldn't be allowed to be there. You and Anthony already had the corona back in December. Oh, you mean when I was, like, dying? I got sick a lot. Like, a lot this season. And I usually don't get... Like, I usually get sick once a year. It's one really bad sickness, and then it's done. This year, it was just, like, constantly sick, sick, sick. But I was also overworking myself really badly. The nice part is I'm going to be working like four minutes from home. So my wife will be able to stop and see me at work. I can have lunch with my wife. Oh, there's so many nice parts to that. I will be working more though. The real question is, am I going to enjoy it? From what I hear, it's going to be a slower environment than, like, what I'm working right now. Looks like someone quietly left. Did Leah leave again? I'm a pro at this game. He says that a lot. Like, a lot.
I wouldn't even say 100 years or so. So this is the second time that China has actually created this disease because this is SARS-CoVID-2. Uh, the first SARS-CoVID was actually the original uh, SARS virus outbreak in 2003, but China instantly quarantined, like instantly locked that shit down. That's why it didn't spread that badly. I mean, if, if you ever listen to, like, Kanye West, just in case, I'd assume you're at the age where you remember it, like, the SARS outbreak, but, like, Kanye West even had that line in his song where he goes, ooh, girl, your breath is harsh, cover your mouth up like you got SARS. Yeah, that's how big of a deal it was. Here's Johnny. Uh, but China, so, and my buddy was living there when this all started, too, uh, Brian. He, he did a live stream with me not that long ago, and then he was also the one I ate the chicken feet with. It looked like someone's leaving. Who's leaving now? Leah? Um, he said that the doctor who blew the whistle, there was a lot of inconsistency around that, and a lot of people are speculating that they didn't quarantine because they wanted this to outbreak, because they wanted it to shut up the Hong Kong riots. If it would have been almost any other government, except for China and Russia, those are the only two governments where I would believe, yep, nope, that's probably accurate. I don't think it was uh, necessarily a bioweapon, but I think it was timing to where they weren't willing to stop it oh what time is it how long have i been streaming for oh you gotta catch it in front of eagle he's gonna clap wow that landed in the water all slowly <sighs> I'm not fast with any of this. Ahmed, I'm not saying Russia was involved at this moment. I'm just saying, if someone told me that that same situation played out in Russia and they just let it happen, Russia's like one of those governments where you just don't trust them. It's sort of like China. I just don't trust the Chinese government. And I mean, as I said, my buddy's been living there, and even just the stuff he'll tell me about, like, you instantly just have this moment of, wow, uh, like, that would never be able to happen here. Isn't this game just supposed to be for kids to teach them how to do chores? No. Ben, most of the people who play this game aren't kids. Like, this game is beloved by kids and adults. Actually, that's pretty much all Nintendo games. Taking a nice walk through the museum. I don't catch many bugs. Speaking of catching bugs. I really like the museum. Like this might be my favorite part of the game. Oh, I'm not saying that I trust my leaders. I'm just saying, in America, could you imagine the revolt? Eh, well, maybe not. Our, our populace has gotten a little soft. But 
I'm just saying, like, could you imagine the revolt that you would have? This is like a what, AJ? I've caught a lot of butterflies. And the koi. I like the koi. This is like a field trip. Kinda, yeah. If the museum has live animals, bugs, isn't that a zoo? Uh, kinda. But it also has, so it only has fish, um, bugs, and fossils. Where are you going with the fish? I like the aquarium a lot. have governors who say things like the older generation should be willing to be sacrificed hey i'm not saying that i trust mine that much more i'm just saying the american people uh we got we got a lot of we got a lot of guns here this pond is very relaxing Huh? Yeah. You're very welcome, dear. Oh, I caught this sucker yesterday. Or today. 23rd. That was the sturgeon. I just caught a marlin, too. I don't trust Russia, though, at all. I'm just saying, like, we've got some corrupt shit that happens in our political system, but there's at least some form of checks and balances. Uh, you, don't, you don't have that luxury in Russia. It's just all Putin. Those are a bunch of anchovies. I'm calling PETA because I sneezed on them? That giant thing there is an oarfish with the pinkish reddish on it. Oh, I get it. You're not Russian. Chevy man, this is on the Switch, yes. I am streaming from my Nintendo Switch. I mean, I just think the way they did... So these are all the animals that I've caught. Um, I donate the first one of everything I catch over to the museum because it gets helps you develop more things the more you invest in the museum. So there's other stuff I can get for it. Like, there's probably other level ups if it goes the same way it did in the last one. The rare rainy day fish? Excuse me? 
the hell is the rainy day fish? Sony refuses to have this game. Uh, ben C, it's made by Nintendo, so Sony would never have this game. Completely made by Nintendo. I need to get more fish. Uh, so I don't know how Canada's rules and regulations work on taxes. Uh, and Darren, they pushed back the tax cutoff day, so, uh, but you should hurry up and file. I might have to look into this uh, rainy day fish. Thought it may be on PC. Nope, this is all Nintendo. Are they protecting them? It's Canada? Uh, the original was on GameCube, and then they made one for the Wii as well. Because it was City Folk. Wild World, New Leaf was the 3DS one. So City Folk was GameCube, Wild World was the Wii, uh, New Leaf was the 3DS, and this one's New Horizons on the Switch. Well, what up, Faruku Saki? How you doing? So I think I'm missing the wings on that one. Missing the midsection on this guy. And the midsection or ass, I guess, on that one. I just like this quiet wash your credit after you stick it into the terminals oh i wash my credit after i swipe it in the terminal uh, can you screen people for coronavirus before they visit your island no that's why i have on the mask it's easier that way Plus, I'm the one who sneezes on everything. Started my vacation. Now's a good time for it. That's how dinosaurs died. They were missing their asses. All right. I think I am going to end the stream, though. I'm going to show you guys my collection here, though. Even with the delay, he's probably going to hear what I said before I even... I really wish I was a better typer on this. <laughs> uh, did you know the coronavirus tests aren't even 100% on point? Uh, you know, Hellraiser, for some reason, that doesn't shock me. Um, it is what it is.
that was the most fun I had playing Animal Crossing so far, even though we just goofed around. Same. I actually had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, but here, I'll show you guys my Switch game collection. Oh, let me let me save this. That's that's a big rule in Animal Crossing. You have to save an end. Uh, there used to be this guy named Mr. Resetti. He was a little mole, and he would actually chew you out really badly if you ended the game without actually saving. Oh, yeah. They removed him because he was apparently too startling to new players and younger kids. Because, of course, he was too startling. But we'll start, we'll start streaming some more Switch stuff here. Uh, I got Pokemon Shield. I just picked up Lust for Darkness. I heard that's really good. It's a very dark puzzle game. Uh, Stick of Truth, Fortnite, Overwatch, Spyro Reignited, Call of Juarez, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Saints Row, the full package. I love Saints Row the Third, by the way. If you haven't played it, it's awesome. Uh, Super Mario Brothers U. We're going to have to go into the full thing here. I uh, bought Carnival Games because it was on sale for like $1.99. The kids really enjoy playing it. I used my Switch as a trade-in for an PS... Oh, a PS4 Pro. Uh, Cuphead. I know, I rebought Cuphead despite how agitated... For those of you who didn't tune in when I streamed Cuphead off of my Xbox, it's like the only time I've rage quit on a stream. I made it really far. And then I just got so infuriated. I, I even almost second-guessed buying it for this. When is Red Dead coming to the Switch? The original one should come to the Switch. Uh, Diablo Eternal Collection. I got Final Fantasy 9 and 7. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. That game is incredible, by the way, if you haven't played it. Uh, Fast RMX. Um... Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, Goat Simulator, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, I Am Setsuna is pretty good as well, uh, L.A. Noir. I love L.A. Noir, and on the Switch it's really good just because you can, it's not the best looking version, it's just I can play it on the go. It felt so satisfied. Dude, Cuphead is one of the most beautiful and amazingly made um games that i've ever seen its art style is just so impressive i love that old school cartoon art style so uh luigi's mansion 3 which is arguably my favorite switch game of all time um these are all the nes games that they add on here so when you pay for uh, nintendo online you get all these nes games just included with it uh, I've already beaten Luigi's Mansion 3. I beat the shit out of that. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, uh, Mario Kart 8, which, by the way, if you guys weren't a part of when I did the BPGR Mario Kart 8 tournament, we might do another one at some point. Uh, Pokemon Home, Pokemon Shield. Uh, I am eventually going to do a Pokemon Shield stream where I let you guys battle me. And anyone who wins, I bred a whole bunch of Pokemon specifically for this. Uh, I'm going to give whoever beats me uh, their choice of a rare Pokemon that I bred. I have a box that's just called the prize box. I'm like a dentist. Played my Switch undocked in almost a year. So, I mean, I, I'll play it undocked, AJ, but I will... I will tell or uh, Ahmed. I will tell you this: uh, the Satisfy Gaming Grip makes it a lot better playing it undocked. I do still prefer it docked because uh, I like it being hooked up to a TV. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure is also really good. Like if you actually uh, like, it is a surprisingly hard workout. By the way, gotta go to bed. Good night, handsome. Thank you, Jerica. I appreciate it. Uh, Rocket League. Rocket League's another one of my favorite games, so when they release it for this. Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures is a somewhat watered down Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I am a sucker for Roller Coaster Tycoon, so I bought it. It was also on sale for pretty cheap. Uh, Sonic Mania, Snipper Clips, uh, Civilization uh, 6. Civ 6 is actually really good on here. Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I love the Shantae games. 
Um, another one of my favorite indie franchises. Uh, Sega Genesis Classics this is all of the original Genesis games. So this is like a flashback walk through my past. So I've got all the NES, well, not all of them, but a good chunk of NES games, a whole bunch of Sega Genesis games. Uh, there's the NES ones, or SNES ones down there. Splatoon 2, uh, Jedi Outcast got released on this. I can whoop you at Rocket League, even though I suck at it. Uh, I'm not good at Rocket League. I just enjoy playing Rocket League. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 is actually Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And that's on the 3DS. Uh, I want to say it was like... 2014? 2015 maybe? Somewhere in there? Maybe a little later? I'm pretty sure it was like 2014, 2015. Somewhere in there. Uh, the Zen Pinball games I love. So I have Star Wars Pinball, Stardew Valley, Skyrim, Smash Brothers, uh, Super Mario Party. That's also really good on here. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey, obviously. How do you have a Switch and not play those games? Super Mario Maker 2, Breath of the Wild, uh, Link's Awakening, The Witcher. I did pick up Xenoblade Chronicles. I haven't really gotten to play much of it yet. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of JRPGs after I absolutely fell in love with Fire Emblem, uh, which is just an incredible game, especially from the story perspective of it. So, but yeah, that's, that's everything that's on my Switch, kids. I know I've always said I wanted to stream on my Switch and that I would eventually get to it, and here we are. Uh, if you do have a Switch, one of the best tips I have for you is link your Twitter and your Facebook you can actually post stuff directly. Um, so, like, I, I can record a clip or a picture and automatically upload it out of my gallery here straight on to um, <clears throat> Twitter. Yeah. It's kind of nifty. And, I mean, you can record 30-second clips. It's like, we got this. This was me beating Luigi's Mansion 3. Can I stream Wolfenstein? I thought I streamed a bit of Wolfenstein. I've, I've streamed a little bit of L.A. Noir before. Like, right around when they were getting ready to launch the VR stuff. These are the pictures that I have on here. Because, of course, right? That was Ring Fit Adventures, by the way. There's my friend code for any of you who actually want to add me. I've also posted this before, so I'm pretty sure that you can track that down if you really wanted. But I'll give you all a few seconds on that. My only really big complaint, like this is probably the biggest pet peeve that I have with the Switch is why couldn't you just put a headphone jack on the pro controller? Because for me to be able to listen to like have these headsets, it's actually plugged into the system right now. And usually I sit far enough away from the TV to where I can't easily do that. So server maintenance started on animal crossing. Oh, uh, it is currently 156 in Ohio here. So I'm on the East Coast. What up, Melanie? See you do what I do on Xbox One. Lots of captures. Uh, I used to save a lot more. I've honestly deleted a lot. I was so pissed about this. This was a solo. I've gotten a lot of solo second places in uh, Fork Knife. I take some really weird screenshots sometimes. A lot of the times, some... Some of my screenshots are just 
the results of me accidentally hitting that button. So if you've never seen the Pro Controller, you've got these four buttons up here, like your pauses and your select, and then you've got the home button and the capture button. And the capture button is just so dangerously close that I wind up clicking it, so it happens. But I would tell you that I absolutely love everything about my Switch. It is so fantastic. Uh, it says it's 411 because I had to time travel. That's why it says it up there on, on the Switch. I had to do a time travel thing. Uh, so you guys could actually see like my daily routine in Animal Crossing. I don't usually like time travel, but I also didn't want it to be the most boring stream known to man. So, but there you go. That's uh, as my first ever Nintendo stream. We will see if I wind up with any copyright disputes or anything that I have to go through. So, guys, it was a pleasure. I'll have plenty more content coming. I'm going to probably stream some more Nintendo stuff because we all know I'm a borderline Nintendo fanboy at this point. And uh, it worked, worked pretty smooth. It went well. I think it went great. Nick, that collection is like 1000 I buy everything when it's on sale. Most of the stuff I pick up is usually on sale. I, I So I... This is like the first time I think I've really streamed something that hasn't been like brand, well, this is brand new, but it's less competitive. But I'll see you guys later. Enjoy, stay safe, stay healthy.